What's popping, collective? This is your girl, the spiritual assassin, coming back on the ones and twos to, to deliver you these messages. Guys, I just got my tooth pulled out Friday. I did some Reiki healing on myself, so that's why I'm able to uh, bring you guys these messages. I am still sore and it still hurt a little bit, but at the end of the day, it's not going to stop me from delivering you guys these messages. So without further ado, let's tap into these messages. So guys, please remember, this is just a quick disclaimer. Remember, energies are interchangeable. You could be a masculine and be in feminine energy or vice versa. Also, um, we do um, embody our birth chart, which means we can carry more than one zodiac sign energetically. So you could be a Pisces and be in a scorpion energy or vice versa. I hope that helps you out. So guys, remember, um, do not make something fit that doesn't belong to you. You know your situation better than I do. If you need a personal reading, you can always reach me at illuminationsofcreation at yahoo.com. You can reach me on Facebook at, um, a message, message me at Starseed. And you can also look over my website if you feel like you can benefit from any mentoring, spiritual healing, or spiritual advising services and that website is creativeilluminations.net again creativeilluminations.net so guys with with further ado let's go ahead and tap into these messages so we're going to um start off by with the end of the decks and what we have so far and what the t deck is someone is daydreaming about you it's just a this, uh, I'm sorry, guys. This distorted masculine that could be daydreaming of you. And someone sees you see you as a, or that you are in your six of wands energy. I could be talking to you collective. You are in your six of wands energy. You are victorious. You're making achievements. You are about to get some type of reward or some kind of recognition um, from the collective or somebody's about to give you some type of recognition. You have clear progress. You are going ahead on your journey. You have been crowned for success here is what I'm picking up. You know, with the six of six of wands energy. You could be this queen of swords energy who I am talking to, an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. You are someone who's very clever, conscience, you tell the truth, you lead. You're very articulate. You share knowledge. You are very keen in the things that you do. Yeah. Someone could be coming to you. This King of Pentacles right here. Mm, I'm sorry I said King of Pentacles. So maybe a King of Pentacles is going to be coming towards you, Taurus energy. But yeah, this King of Cups is coming towards you. This person, person it can be very emotional, balanced. <coughs> I'm sorry. Tolerant, kind, just, he's ready to give to you. He's going to tell you some type of truth or be emotional with you. This person person can be married, but this person could possibly want to marry you too. This person could be a father. Yeah, this person wants to come and offer you a pinnacle, the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody is in the progress of coming towards you. Yeah, because they see you as a two of cups. They want to be in a relationship with you. Yeah, they want to offer you this ace of cups. This They want to offer you this love. And it makes sense with the, the king of cups and the ace of cups. This person is going to be very emotionally driven by you he's coming to offer you a cup of love that's going to overflow for you because he see you as his soulmate is what i'm picking up yeah and he wants to offer you something this person could be married though okay guys he do see you as wish fulfillment with the nine of cups this aries leo sag energy right here the king of wands this is a bold leader this could be another energy I'm picking on, or this could be the same person that's embodying this energy. Take it as it resonates. But this person did juggle you with the, um, the two of pentacles. 
Yes, this person did. And they was in a unrequired situation, a family business ship that went sour with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. There was in a relationship with a Nine of Pentacles energy. This person was karmic. As you can see, this person has chosen to, and he could have been married to this person is what I'm picking up. He could have been married to this person, still could be married to this person. He was karmic. He was an uh, emperor in reverse energy when he married this person. That's why things didn't work out. This was a toxic connection. Somebody has secrets here that was exposed. Confirmation on the, on the phone when I said that. So this person could have possibly picked someone over you. Now they want to come back and offer you some type of love. They're going to be very emotional, um, very balanced is what I'm picking up. Um, maybe they went through some type of tower moment. Maybe they found out about these secrets right here. That's what I'm picking up. And now they want to commit to you because they see you as high honor. And what's crowning, crowning the read, guys, is you are abundant. Yes. Maybe they blamed you in the past for something, but it's in the reverse. So this person is not blaming you any, anymore is what I'm picking up. So guys, th that, that, that is the energy I have for you so far at the, for the, for the pre-shuffled messages. So we're going to go ahead and tap into these messages and see what this timeline is talking about. Also guys, remember I do, um, hit different timelines. So this could be in the past, future, or um, current situation. So, like I said, if you need any more clarification, hit me on those sites I was telling you about earlier in the video. Okay? So, let's go ahead and tap into these messages. When I shuffled my cards earlier from the, um, the tarot deck, I had a card from what's the tea deck that popped up in there. So I'm like, how'd that get there? But that was a message from the ancestors, right? Wanted me to let you guys know that somebody is using divination to spy on you or your masculine or feminine. Take the parts as it resonates. You know your situation better than I do, okay? Yeah, this person was the, um, spying on you. Um, that was in his Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. This is the person that was spying on you is what I'm picking up. This person that was in a family um, dynamic situation, uh, they possibly had a business together. Whoever this person was, they've been spying on you. Yeah, they was in a business relation. They was in some type of business courtship. Um, some kind of contract was signed here. I feel like it seems like they was married. I'm picking up they was married. He married to this person. They possibly got two kids together. Yeah. They came together and collab. Yeah. But now this person see you as the um, Ace of Pentacles. I feel confirmation. Now this person sees you as the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like that he wants to come together with you now and collab. So I feel like that in the past that your person uh, chose to collab with somebody else because they was too weak. I just seen the strength card in reverse. So maybe they was too weak to handle you is what I'm getting. Because they chose somebody over you and started a business with someone else. And when they did, it flopped. Now they want to come back towards you because they see you as the gift. They see you are the truth is what I'm picking up. Yeah, this Knight of Wands was very weak. Did not, did not stand his ground. Aries Leo Sag energy. Yeah, he wants to come together and um, ha and forge some type of contract with you, Collective. Yeah. So let's get some more messages and see what's going on. Yeah, look at this. I'm at the bottom of the deck again. Yeah, because somebody see you as the Six of Wands here. So Spirit Guys, what, what is it that we need to discuss with the Collective today? Somebody is holding something close to their chest here with the Four of Pentacles. Someone is holding on to something very tight. It could be pentacles. It could be you. But somebody is holding on to something real um, tight here. There's going to be justice brung into a situation, guys. Or there has been justice brung into a situation. The scales is going to be balanced and the truth is going to be told here is what I'm picking up. 
Yeah, this King of Pentacles is coming back into your life. I told you guys, I said this early in the read, that it was going to be, a, it, I felt the, <laughs> a Ten of Pentacles energy. And here he is, this Taurus energy, somebody who's very abundant, um, helps out the community. Um, he grows a lot. He knows how to invest. He builds. He's very stable here. He could be a financial advisor. That's what I'm picking up. Yeah. This King of Swords right here. This is, um, I don't know why I want to say Aries Leo Sage energy. I, I don't know why, but maybe this King of Swords is also in his um, Emperor energy is what I'm picking up. Yeah. But this King of Swords energy could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. That's also embodying the King of Pentacles energy. So he's going to come with some type of truth. He is stable. Here, he's going to come bring you justice collective or she take it as a resonate. Yes, because this person wants to travel uh, to calmer waters with you. You guys may have a child. I feel like for this card that I see that um, this person is ready to put the swords down and move to somewhere else to a calmer state of mind, a calmer place, somewhere where there's no distractions for you guys is what I'm picking up. Yes, he's coming towards you. The queen of swords is what I'm picking up. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You could be, you also speak the truth. You're very stern. You take no crap from no one. And he knows this is what I'm picking up. Yeah, somebody is feeling stuck in their head. They have nightmares, night terrors, can't rest, having anxiety. Um, not knowing which way to go. Wondering why they can't sleep. Yeah. Somebody could be coming to you bluntful with um with the Knight of Swords energy. Hmm. Somebody could be very persuasive, outspoken. Some kind of information is about to come in fast, is what I'm getting. Somebody that's in a Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords energy could be coming to you. With some type of information, they could be angry coming towards you because they're going through anxiety. They're going through this. Somebody is trying to get in your energy. Let's just get some more cards and see. Yeah, the Empress in the Reverse. I knew it. The Empress in the Reverse. So this Emperor in the Reverse is a karmic energy. Your person was married to a karmic energy. This person is going through karma right now from... Self-sabotaging you guys' connection because evidently this is a divine union that this person had intervened with. This person is going to try to come back to you, come to you with some type of harsh communication. Is what I'm picking up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this person feel backstabbed. Maybe she want to tell you about, a, uh, about being backstabbed is what I'm picking up. But that's none of your business collective. You have nothing to do with that. Do not feed into that energy. Yes. I got the Queen of Wands here. Maybe somebody caught got caught cheating with a Queen of Wands. Or you could be a Queen of Wands. Let's get, let's just that dig into this information. Yeah, somebody had other options here with the Seven of Pentacles. So his his Empress in reverse got betrayed by your masculine she found out about some secrets she wants to tell you about this betrayal she went through about a queen of wands that he was cheating on her with yep he backstabbed her he had plenty of options and she found out about this this could have been a secret that has been um foretold now guys but somebody wants to offer you an ace of wands here and it could be more than just the Ace of Wands, if you can see the picture. <laughs> or if you are masculine, she want to give you that thing thing. You know what I mean? This person <laughs> has a lack poverty mindset, though. So be, make sure that you use your discernment. So maybe in the past, this person was in poverty-like mindset. Or this person can still be in poverty-like mindset. You can have these pinnacles, but still don't have the right mindset. You feel where I'm coming from? That's being in lack of. But we're going to go ahead and pull some more cards and see what's going on. So I see the high priestess here. So there's a high priestess 
that was in lack. So she wasn't really a high priestess. I also have the Page of Cups here. Somebody could be pregnant. This high priestess could be pregnant. I'm sorry, guys. I just had something in the background. <laughs> That's trying to disturb me from delivering this message, but it won't stop. But yeah, this so this high priestess is in lack now. But she's really not a high priestess. <laughs> she's karmic. She's going through a lack poverty mindset right now. Yeah. She's going through karma right now for what she did to you guys. Yeah, and this person could be pregnant is what I'm picking up. Yeah, somebody used magic here with the magician card. Yes, this person was the devil, is the devil, and used toxic, toxic toxicity, um, sex magic, love spells, you know what I'm saying? To keep your masculine stuck. And she was not a high priestess because she was in lack. She was actually, she actually leads men to, me into their death. Try to uh, stop them from finding their true path. Yeah. Now someone feels like a wounded warrior here with the nine of wands. Yes. Your person had to walk away from this person. And they, they could be wounded. By this person, your person thought this person was the high priestess, only to find out that this person wasn't. So that's another situation I'm picking on up on. Yes. Somebody's coming towards the Queen of Cups here. I see. You could be this Queen of Cups I'm talking to. They want to deliver this message to you, guys. Some type of um message that's about to come to you. They want to start a new idea with you. Um give you some truth to some information they're going to be a young energy is what i'm picking up yeah because they see you as um being successful right here so this queen of cups can be very successful and someone wants to come back around now so guys you may want to use discernment guys i am getting distracted here so i know that you're going to have some type of distraction that's going to uh, present itself to you as I said earlier in the cards so be mindful and careful about people that's trying to get into your energy and trying to stop you from um, moving forward okay guys so that is all I got for you guys if you need me for a personal reading please reach out to me at um, Facebook um, at Starc to book your appointment or you can reach me at creativeilluminations.net you guys have a great day I will be back with the next video for what's the tea guys all right what is the spill for the weekend i hope these messages brought some type of clarity to your situation without further ado i'll talk to you soon bye